we've seen a total of 39 deer between the morning and evening hunt and uh, a couple of shooters it was just it was phenomenal so we uh, obviously elected to come back to the stand we have the same wind we didn't hurt anything so me and Matt come right back in Matt's my New York friend he uh, drew a tag for Iowa so we're trying to get him on his first Iowa buck ever out here in public land and uh on something good. We got some, some good shooters in here that he'd, he'd love to take. And I'm still in here really after Caesar and probably the tall G4 buck. Those are the two bucks that I really want to I wanna shoot. The tall G4 buck I gotta see. But he's not super common. Unfortunately, neither is Caesar right now. Anyway, today we're just on the, a good transition point in a bunch of dough bedding, catching the bucks cruising. Nothing super special about it. Nothing crazy, it's just that time of year, and this is what you need to be doing. So, we're gonna sit tight. We've already seen three deer, one doe chase, getting chased way out behind me, and a, a button buck and a, and a doe moving through the lane up here. I couldn't get either of them on camera, they were just kind of skirting us really quick. So, we're gonna sit tight, get quiet, and try to see what else comes by for the morning.
it's uh it's just before nine here and uh, as you guys can see that really good buck come in um i'm not sure i'm pretty sure this is a g4 the buck i call the g4 buck it was kind of a hard to, to get a look at him i was trying to fiddle around with the camera getting the camera on him and uh it could have been the heavy 10 that's in here they both are very similar but I'm about 90 percent sure it was a g4 buck anyway he come down what i thought was going to come right down the pipe and instead he turns off on this the trail at 46 which i've seen three shooter bucks do on me now you know when i ripped that shot at caesar at 46 and he was kind of the same where they were cruising but kind of spooky and and uh i just didn't want to miss again i don't want to educate the buck and so i elected to pass a 46 shot here and a 47 yard shot in front of me i don't think i could get the camera really on him in front of me i tried to grunt and snort wheeze to him he come he kind of pulled into about 30 yards but he was in this brush you couldn't even hardly see him and uh I'm surprised he could see through the brush, but he, apparently he could see through enough that he didn't see a buck and didn't like it, and he started working his way off. He wasn't too too spooked, you know, and during this time of year, he'll come back for sure. Historically, I got him on camera morning and evening right over my shoulder down here, but uh, I'm tired of seeing deer walk right under the tree in front of me at 50 yards. It's a little risky. I got to walk over a pretty good deer trail to get into that spot, but... Uh, me and Matt are going to tear everything down here at 9.30, and we're going to set up over there. I just think that's the play. I've seen three big bucks do it, and all three of them have turned left or right before they come under this tree. I'm not saying a big buck won't come under this tree, but if I only got to walk 40 more yards to get a shot at one, I think that's what I'm going to do. So that's the game plan. We're going to stick it out here for another 45 minutes, so it's a half hour, and then we'll tear everything down and switch trees. So if anything shows up in that time, I'll show you guys. Otherwise... We will be over there for the evening and continue the story.